It's gorgeous, but not luxurious. Jackson Lake Lodge is where economists and central bankers gather every year, not for the accommodations, but the conversations. Housed not in fancy hotels, but rustic cabins, they come for two and a half days of eco-nerd talk about math-dense academic papers. They meet in this functional conference room, not quite the same as the electronically wired, mahogany-paneled Fed conference room back in Washington. For Global Wall Street, it's not about the conversations or the accommodations, but the implications. The papers don't matter much to investors, but the policymakers' comments on TV and in print do, particularly the Friday keynote by the Fed chairman. Talk of inflation, unemployment, recession, and what it all means for interest rates and profits. Now, we're here because of Paul Volcker. Back in 1981, the Kansas City Fed wanted a big name for their new conference. They came to Jackson Hole because the trout fishing is great and Volcker loved to fish. The rest is history. The irony is this year, the financial world is wondering whether current Fed Chair Jay Powell will be Volcker-like in committing the central bank to fighting inflation above all else, even if it results in recession. If he isn't, stock markets might fall. And out here they know you don't feed the bears. Michael McKee, Bloomberg, Jackson Hole, Wyoming.